Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly go over something I'm putting up on the marketplace as well. It's a distance measuring tool. And what this is, basically, there are four different blueprints the pack will come with that let you measure distances between objects, as well as the one that you see on the screen right now, which allows you to measure the radius diameter and circumference of a circle. So this is the one I'm going to cover first. Basically it gives you a number of options such as the radius and this is based on centimeters. So right now this radius is extremely small. It's one radius which comes out to a diameter of 2.0 and the circumference of 6.2, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the radius, as you can see, the measurements are correct. With a diameter of 1, the circumference comes out to pi. So just to see a bit, you can see you scale this up, you get the actual circle of measurement and when I put this up on the marketplace I'm going to be replacing this flat mesh here with something that's more of an actual circle without the filling so it's easier to see and doesn't come up with the blooming issue that you see here but basically you pick the radius and you can use it to measure the circumference of an area, the diameter, everything. It's a pretty basic measuring tool uh, you can see over here, it's just a couple simple options on it that just lets you hide the words above the actual circle. And for the circle tool, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty basic one. The next one I'm going to show is a bit more complex. It is actually a spline tool used for measuring objects that are a bit more uneven. Say if you wanted to measure a racetrack, or if you're wanting to measure just the path that your player takes through the level. And with this one, before I start actually using it, there are a few options in here. Just to cover it real quick, you can display things with the imperial system or the metric system. And you can switch out between the two here. And of course all the different measurements appear on the right side here. You can see it shows how many feet they are, how many inches, miles, as well as meters, kilometers, and centimeters. And the measurement that it's getting right now is between this point and this point here. And to actually get the measurements, like I said before, it was a tool that you can use to measure a pathway that isn't just perfectly straight. So to do this, you just drag the spline along. So I wanted to measure how long this pathway here was. All I have to do is just drag the spline through the level here to get a measurement of how long it is from one point to the other. And you can do this. It's very useful for things like a single player level or if you're just wanting to test distances, especially for like racing games like I said before. Whoa, a bit too far away there. But yeah, so just from that distance, you can see the white line here that it's measuring. It's basically measuring the entire distance of this line. You can see all the measurements on the right side here still, and they'll also appear in map here. So the spline is 1,074 feet and 327 meters. So if I drag this up, it'll, you'll see it actually increasing the length of the spline. 
Oh, if I start deleting points here, you'll see the number get quite a bit smaller here. So it's very straightforward. So that is another one of the tools. The next one is probably the most useful one of the pack, I'd say. It's useful for measuring the width of player areas, or say you wanted to measure something like the height of a room or the distance between two spaces. Basically just place this in your world. Measure, you have two points you can move around and it'll measure the distance between them. So you just, so you want to measure the distance between this pathway here. Just move the two points into place and it'll tell you exactly how wide of an area this is. So it's about 49 feet and 14.9 meters. And I know it doesn't look like it from the project I'm actually using right now. That's just because the scaling of this environment is actually a bit larger than real life. So these aren't gigantic mushrooms. But generally the Unreal Editor the Unreal units, I should say, are based on centimeters. One Unreal unit equals one centimeter. So if you haven't changed the scale of your project at all, these measurements should be exactly correct. And as you can see, just moving this around, you'll see the distance move it closer. The distance becomes a lot smaller and further away. You can also set the custom location of this if you want. If you have like an exact position in your map you need to test from, you can just customly set each one in here. The you can change the text colors is a small feature. But for that tool, that's pretty much it. The next tool is useful for measuring the distance between two meshes. So say I just want to measure just place this in the level here, and I want to measure the distance between two different objects. So let's just pick this tree stump here for one, and I'll just go over here and pick this tree stump as the second option. You can see all the distances in here updated as an accurate measurement between these two objects now. So there are 849 feet or 259 meters between these two tree stumps here. And as you can see, all the other measurements are in here. How many inches, how many miles, meters, kilometers, centimeters, feet, everything's in here. And just like the other ones, if you don't want to see how many feet, you just want the metric system, you can just hide the feet and only see how many meters they are. And another option that's in here, I think it's just a limitation of blueprint, but say you were moving one of the objects, the blueprint doesn't automatically update the distances. It's the same with the sky dome here. There's just a refresh button in here. So you see I'm moving it, but it's not actually updating the distance here. So you just push the refresh button and it'll update the distance between the two objects here. It's the same as the sky dome here. I think it's just if there's an object outside of the blueprint updating it, it's not going through the the construction script, so it's not actually changing. Like the other ones update in real time because it's only updating things within the blueprint. But that's pretty much it for this one too. It's just useful for measuring the distance between two objects that you have in your map. And that covers all the different tools. If you guys have any questions or any feedback on any features that you would like to see added to this, definitely let me know and I'll do my best to get it added before it gets submitted up to the marketplace. So thanks again. See you guys later.